The Howard Stern Show. <laughs> Let's figure out what you're up to now. We're talking right. about this new role. You're playing uh, Trumbo. Yeah. Trumbo. Let me see if I got this right. This is the life of a Hollywood screenwriter who was blacklisted, right? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. it. Horrible thing, right? Yeah. The worst. Because uh, these guys who all got blacklisted for being supposed communists, most of them weren't even communists. And so what if they were? Yes. Well, who that's cared? the point. Yeah. It was McCarthyism. Yes, the House on American Activities Committee in in the House of in the Congress, and McCarthyism in in the Senate. Um, the the American Communist Party started out of the uh, the Depression in the 30s when That's no right. one had a job. That's right. And he joined uh, in 1943 uh, during right in the middle of the war when when communist Russia was an ally of ours. Right. After the war, we start to realize how awful. Stalin really is mm. right that he is unbelievably vicious and cruel and the truth is that he wasn't even a communist right. Stalin was, was a it? fascist dictator that's right and a big difference but the 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 association was made oh look how bad he is he's a communist wait in our own country American communist party Ah, they're the communists, enemy. communists, they're right. trying to overthrow the government. Ipso facto, you are trying to overthrow the government. It's like, wait a minute, I just thought that maybe this political party might get people to work. Right. What you was know, Trumbo's uh, move? How did he work through the blacklist? Was he able to write under a, uh, a, yes. an assumed name? Not only was he able to write under an assumed name, he won two Oscars. As uh, another person. Yeah. And of course he can't accept he can't claim them. Him. Isn't that fucking crazy? Can't claim him. What a crazy story. Here's a guy, successful Hollywood writer, yeah. on top of the world, gets branded a communist, which he was. He, he was a member of the Communist Party, as yes. many people were. So now he can't write, so he has to write under an assumed name. Right. Now, when he wins the Oscar and they're looking for this guy, did he have another, like an actor Alter or somebody play or him? No. He won his first Oscar for Roman Holiday. Right. His friend Ian McClellan Hunter who was, was also a member, of the, but it was not subpoenaed yet. Right. Um, he agreed to put his name on the work so that it can get made. Right. It wins an Oscar. Well, oh Ian says, God. I'm not showing up. I don't <laughs> want this thing. I don't want so it. So a representative of the a Writers Guild shows up and says, thank you very much for Ian McClellan Hunter. And they, we have a scene in there where, where the Oscar is sitting in between us. Uh-huh. And he goes, I don't want it. And I go, well, I don't want it either. <laughs> Did Trumbo live in constant fear that he'd be found out as an alter ego type thing? I mean, yes, how many the, people in Hollywood actually knew that Trumbo was this other guy? Oh, there was a lot of people who suspected and probably... 20, 30 people who knew. Right. Um, but it was, a, it was a period of great fear. The fear mongers of the world then were, were very uh, successful. Can you imagine how tortured this fucking guy must have it been? It was horrible. He was a great writer. He wins awards, and he can't go accept them. Right. So what happened when he won his second award? The second award, he put a pseudonym on, Robert Rich. <laughs> and again, he wins. Oh, my God. And no one shows up. But, like, but who did people think Robert Rich was? They suspected who Robert Trumbo. Rich might be. One of the many uh, uh, Hollywood 10 or other uh, writers who were on the blacklist who were, who were trying to undermine this horrible condition. Holy And they mackerel. did it. They finally did it and largely credited to Kirk Douglas. Right. Who said, this is bullshit. Right. Uh, I'm going to put Dalton Trumbo. He wrote it. Uh, he wrote Spartacus. Yes. Right. And I'm putting his name on... You know, on the screen. So after 13 years that of being balls. on the blood, oh, oh yeah, most people wouldn't have stood up for Trumbo, right? No, because no. why? Yeah, why you, risk you, your own career? Why risk and and uh, Kirk had all his own money in it, and he had his reputation. He risked being ostracized by the rest. Let me get of the this industry. straight. That's amazing. Trumbo wrote Spartacus. Yeah. But he probably wrote it under an assumed name. At Sam first. Jackson. Okay. So, and which, <laughs> so and Spartacus. It's a new name every time. Spartacus, Samuel, not Samuel L. Jackson. No. And I remember that movie because remember Mad Magazine did a uh, parody of it called Spartatuchus, which has always stayed with me. It was the greatest <laughs> thing Brian ever. Cranston. I am Spartatuchus. <laughs> I am Spartatuchus. <laughs> I'm Spartatuchus, and I was like, oh, this I gotta I gotta get on the radio and do this kind of stuff. <laughs> but 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 uh, imagine writing Spartacus, and now he's got another assumed name. And this actor, you know, uh, Kirk Douglas, had the balls to go forward and say, I'm putting Dalton Trumbo's name on the script. Isn't that fucking amazing that it this is guy amazing. did it? It is amazing. He had a lot of threats 
about it. Um, a head of Hopper, played beautifully uh, by Helen Mirren, right. uh, was a very, very powerful right-wing kind of person in Hollywood. She was an entertainment reporter and could make or break your career, and she did. She had 35 million readers yeah. at the time. Yeah. Think of that. And? And brutal. Yeah. What? Uh, who plays Kirk Douglas in the movie? A guy named Dean O'Gorman, who's actually from Australia. See, people don't know this stuff about a Kirk Douglas. Yeah, you what, don't that's think probably of Kirk his, Douglas as a that's hero probably his off greatest, screen. That's probably his greatest accomplishment, yeah. right? He feels it is. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, you know an icon, actor, and and a father, and I mean, and that's his contribution in this was was very heroic. As was Otto Preminger, who also. Said that the uh, director, D- the director Dalton Trumbo, is going to write Exodus, and he actually said, "I'm going to put him uh, on the screen as as the writer of Exodus, starring Paul Newman." Do you think these Hollywood celebrities ended up uh, really being the ones that got rid of McCarthyism and uh, this whole anti-communist wave in America? Do you think because they stood up, and uh, do you think they're the reason that? Well, it 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 took a, a, a an underground. Uh, cooperation of these writers uh, and and the the whole t- tenor of the, of the of the blacklist was collapsing, but it really did take these moves of, of Spartacus of of Kirk Douglas and Otto Preminger to to push away the the common thought of what they should do right. and do what was right. Most people would not; they would look the other way and say, "Hey, I got a good career going. I'm Kirk Douglas. Fuck this. I don't want to screw this up." But he yeah. did it. That's he real. It. Sounds like a good movie. That's now you balls, now you, you yeah. didn't fuck this movie up. I hope you do a good job as Trumbo. I think it's pretty good. You play Dalton Trumbo. I do. The tortured man. Was yeah. he a tortured man over all this? He was in in many ways. He was brilliant and flamboyant and dramatic and he worked in in the bathtub wow no kidding. he wrote in the bathtub <laughs> he wrote in the bathtub he had a very bad back. communist <laughs> communist all communists write in the bathtub. verse communist he had a bad back and so he was told you need to soak your back at uh, least an hour or two he said well I, I can't do that he was a chain smoker so, right so his voice was very rough and he said, I can't do that. And then he realized, oh, I'll just bring the, the work into the bathtub with me. And Don't you think it would have been great if in the movie Trumbo starts making meth in a, in a meth lab? <laughs> I like where you're going. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, in other I words, do. merging. I can't write yes, anymore. I do. <laughs> they, no one, yeah, I can't write. I'm going to now be a meth guy. It would have been a better movie, I believe. That's right. Before it's time. The Howard Stern Show.